But, you know, Ignacio Trevisek is not just a shrewd businessman, which I have already said many times in the past, and I'm not going to say it again because he blushes every time, but he's also a talented designer. He, he designs games rather well. And already, uh, although we are in Essen 2017 now, but this is already out in the United States, soon in, the, in Europe, First Martians, Adventures of the Red Planet. This looks like a fairly complex game. Um, tell me about it, Ignacy. Yeah, so this is a follow-up to Robinson Crusoe, the famous release from 2012. And for the after the release of the Robinson Crusoe, I was approached by so many fans at the conventions or during, through the emails. Ignacy, let's make Robinson Crusoe in space. It would be so cool to discover aliens. And, visit. and I was, no, no, no. I love Robinson Crusoe. I love the book. I love this story about Robinson Crusoe. But I had so many emails, so many people approached me, and then the Mars team became so popular, I said, okay, so Robinson Crusoe, Mars, it makes sense, let's try. I give, gave myself a few weeks of like prototype, if, if it makes sense, I build a very early prototype, and then I couldn't stop, like I was just designing, designing, and we finally announced it, and that's, now it's released. Is uh, Robinson Crusoe moved into the space, as you mentioned, it's a complex game, it's a, I, in our marketing materials, in our articles about the game, we even call it game system. Why we call it game system? Because as in Robinson Crusoe, in the base book of the first Martians, we have six standalone missions, and they are so different. Like basically, you are playing six different games out of this because each mission changes the game. So this is like a system to play different games. And what is more, in the first Martians, we even have besides these this six standalone missions, we have two campaigns. Each campaign is five missions long. So it's like a 16 unique experiences you will have playing even once. If you want to repeat them, it's like 32. But this is a game system. Like this is a, in one mission you use oxygen generators, in other missions you go to explore the planet, in other missions you have to find a cure for the sickness in the hub. Like there's so many things that you can do, and the game has a, all the system for that. So this is a complex game, but if you know how to play, you can have so many different adventures. Uh, because it's an adventure-based game, what is the replayability value of, of the game? Can it be played many times and still feel new? So, uh, the game is supported with the app. It's a free supporting app. In um, Robinson Crusoe, we have 220 cards with different adventures and events. And Robinson is known as a huge replayability game. In the first Martians, we have 500 cards. Why? Because we don't use a paper, because I just upload them to the app. So we have no paper limit. What is more, we promised and we already delivered that because there is an app, I can update the app anytime I want. So we already, even though the game is not yet released in Europe, on in States, I already added about 20 more events uh, just for free, as a free update. And we promise to continue that. We do a, a contest on the BGG website for the fans. Hey, give us ideas for the events. You will find them in the app. And we already did it as well. So there's five events created by the fans that we made them official. So when you play the first Martian, sometimes you can see the event, the fluff event created by a name of the user from BGG. It is cool, super cool. So in terms of the replayability, it is like over the roof. Like this is insane. And uh, we can so easily increase it. Uh, yesterday during the keynotes, we just announced that next Tuesday and next Wednesday to celebrate Halloween in the app, there will be unlocked one hidden scenario it will appear only for two days because we want to play during Halloween. It has different events, pre-constructed events that are about the ghosts and strange noises in the hub. And after two, two days, it will disappear from the app. So we can surprise our customers and players with the updates. You just have notification on your phone, something new was just uploaded. We also yesterday announced that for the Christmas, we have a gift for our fans and there will be another seventh mission in the game for free. You are just up, up, update your app, you have a new mission in the app, so you will have two campaigns and seven instead of six missions. So, in terms of replayability question, I think that it is a super interesting case that you bought the game today and you have six missions and two campaigns, but six weeks later you will have seven missions, and eight weeks later you have nine missions, because I will just upload and upload and upload because I just want you to play the game, because if you play the game, you have a great time and you share it with your friends so you are my marketing tool, you are just my voice, yes? Win-win situation, I give you a free content and you give me a free marketing. Our plan for the next year, like just support you, give you more events, more adventures, more scenarios, and just have you play the game, this is all we need. 
Uh, you mentioned it's a complex game. What is the learning curve? How easy is it to learn? It is difficult. Like it is, it is difficult um, to give you impression. Uh, besides the rule book, we publish the PDF file that we call First Nations Almanac. That is like a, all the questions, all the small details, all the examples, many additional examples. This file has this file has 60 pages. So this is a monster. So this is a monster. But this is like a lot of examples, lots of pictures, lots of big photos with the precise um, situations on the board. But it's a complex game. The first one, two, three games will be hard. We have to say it very over openly. But when you get to the system, when you understand how the system works, you have one campaign, five scenarios long with the big meta plot and the twist and it's amazing. Other campaign that is a legacy campaign, at some point it will be such a twist and such things and you will have to make the decision and you know this is a legacy. Either this way, either that way and never come back to this. And you have six scenarios now, seven and eight in the future. So you have to sacrifice two weekends maybe, struggling, and you have a game you will play for years. I can do with that. Yeah. I, I can do with that. Ignacy, congratulations on the show because the booth is absolutely booming. The games are looking gorgeous. The company is looking very, very healthy. You seem to be doing very well indeed. And sir, may it continue forever. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.